I'm really excited for this excellent guide of Blissey today. Dear ladies and gentlemen, without exaggeration, this will be a complete guide for our latest support character, Blissey. Let's start right into it and have a look what moves tactics and items are available for us. And if you seem to like the content, I'd be tremendously happy if you could support this channel with a subscription and this video with a like so YouTube knows this content is good. But now, let's start writing. Blissey has the difficulty novice and is a melee supporter and uses special attack damage for its moves and attacks. It has 3.5 stars in endurance and 4.5 in support. That means Blissey goes full helping on the battlefield. Let's have a look at the progression and the moves we have to our disposal with Blissey. We're starting out on level 1 as Chansey and evolving on level 4 to Blissey. When starting out, we can choose between Pound and Heal Pulse. Pound lets the attack in front and dealing damage with a speed reduction for enemies. And Heal Pulse, the first recovery ability we have as Chansey, is a small heal over time which restores some HP when we're in trouble. When starting out, I always choose Pound. Why? Because it's the first damage ability you have and it's important to get as quickly as possible to the top or bottom lane. I wouldn't recommend jungling with Blissey, but I think you do <laughs> I don't have to say anything about that. But you see, Pound is the first ability with a good AoE range and it helps you with your teammate to get quickly to the enemies at the top. The second ability you get is Heal Pulse and like the name says, when we're getting damage, let's get hit a little bit from those APAMs. You see 1-7, 1-7, 1-7. When using it, we're restoring, based on our HP, some HP back, with 4 ticks, in this case 86 per tick. So it's a very good ability to stay alive at the beginning, but of course we will get more effective healing later on. On level 4 we already get the second set of abilities, and that's on the one side Softboiled and on the other side Safeguard. With Softboiled we can give us and our allies X, which will heal us and help us in the fight to get more sustainability and to stay alive a little bit longer. And level 12 we get Soft Boiled Plus, which increases the maximum number of uses that we can keep in reserve for this move. Because without the plus variant we can keep 3 eggs and with the plus variant we can have 4. And the other ability, Safeguard, is a buff which removes all the status conditions and it's also helping us from cleansing CC and not being targeted by. At level 12 we get Safeguard Plus, which also grants the ally Pokemon a shield. We are getting Soft Boiled as our first ability. And you see at the bottom that there is a number one. And there is a timer. Every time this timer goes round, we're getting one more egg, up until the maximum of three, or when we have the plus variant, up to four. So let's get a little bit of damage here. So we're getting hit. And you see, we're getting quite beaten up. Of course, not as strong as with enemy Pokemon. But when using this egg, we have a good range and we're getting 500 HP back. And of course, this scales with the level and the HP itself. So once time again, we're getting, in this case, only 145. Let's wait for some more hits. And when we're down again, we can see how much we can heal. And you see, when targeting, you're seeing a little red light above the head of the Pokemon. In this case, it's only us. But if they are allies, we can heal them as well. And you can see, we can spam those eggs and get very much HP back. In this case, of course, we don't have cooldowns to show those moves more effectively. But if you want to go full support with Blissey, that's the choice you should take. And the other ability we can choose at level 4 is Safeguard. When we're alone, you see, when targeting, we are targeting ourselves and getting this buff. This not only removes all the status conditions, like said, but also lets us become immune to hindrances. And when we have the plus variant, we also get a shield. So this is the other choice besides soft boil. So you can either go full healing or more tanky with this ability. I have to say that I mostly like to take soft boil because the heal can be really, really high and really tremendous and can help out in those big fights. But safeguard is also a possibility when fighting with Blissey. So you're getting, you see this unstoppable sign and no CC, you're getting the shield and of course you're removing all the status conditions, which of course can be very helpful when used in the right situation. And at level 6, you see Blissey isn't waiting too long for the next moves, we can choose between Egg Bomb and Helping Hand. Egg Bomb, the ranged damage ability, lets us throw an egg which explodes and then deals damage in an area of effect to enemy Pokémon. And at level 10, we get the plus variant, which also decreases the movement speed when we hit some enemies with this move. The other one is Helping Hand. For a short time, we not only greatly increase our and our ally's speed, but also the basic attack speed. And as long as this buff lasts, only our, that's important, attacks will become boosted so we can hit with more damage and have, like the other side from Egg Bomb, to deal also more DPS when needed. 
at level 10 we get Helping Hand Plus, which also increases the damage of the basic attacks while we having this buff active. And at level 6 we can choose Egg Bomb. And like I said, it's not the ability I would recommend at all for Blissey because... Yeah, it's just damaging and you have far more potential when using those buffs. But again, let's have a look. The range is very good and when throwing it, we're dealing a good amount of damage. It's not that, but of course we can only throw one. When the cooldown is up, we are throwing enemies and we're hitting them. But we're losing the buff we had otherwise and that's quite a pity because no movement speed increase, no more attack damage, nothing anything we just have this one attack move and when it comes to clutch in a big team fight we can be more supportive with other choices so don't choose egg bomb but choose the other move instead and the second and far more superior ability is helping hand not only when using it we are running around like speedsters we can get very quick from point a to point b but we're also increasing the attack damage of our allies and we also helping them out when fighting with attack speed so we getting quicker attacks with that out every time helping hand is up you see every attack is a boosted one so we're slapping away those bees and when we have the plus variant also the attack damage is increased of our boosted attack when we're using this so not only we're getting quicker but also hitting harder and supporting our allies to doing the same and based on that and in the comparison with egg bomb I just can recommend you always take with your helping hand, it's the more helping ability. And at level 8, we get our Unite move, which is Bliss Assistance. This is also a buff, which lets us not only dash to an ally Pokemon and giving it an egg, but also granting this Pokemon a shield and also increasing the attack and special attack for a short time. So you see, not only defensive, but also a very offensive move when used in the right conditions. Not only that, but we also intercept a portion of the damage, which is received by the Pokémon for a short time. And while we're dashing, we're throwing nearby opposing Pokémon away when it comes to contact with them. So you see, dashing through like an ambulance, helping out our allies and giving some damage boosts when needed in big teamfights. And already at level 8, we are getting our Unite move. Um, you see the range is very big. I don't know if we can jump anywhere if we don't have a mate. No, we can't, so we have no target. I'm going to show you some footage from a gameplay so you can see what we can do. And when using this move, we are running up to the ally Pokemon, giving a shield, giving the egg, giving a healing and throwing all the enemy Pokemon in our way there. So you see Blissey running through like a tank and helping the teammates, which is a very good Unite move when it comes to intense situations. With this buff, you can really help out good. And of course, we also have a passive ability. In this case, it's Natural Cure. This removes all the status conditions from us. And the ability goes on cooldown after it's triggered. And we have the basic attack, which becomes boosted after a set amount of time passes, which deals increased damage. So it's not dependent on how often you hit enemies, but dependent on a certain amount of time and then you can see when you have the gauge enabled that the next attack becomes boosted. Now let's have a look at the battle items. And of course, Blissey doesn't have as much mobility when the buff is on cooldown and if you haven't chosen it, of course. But eject button, as always, good ability to get away or get into a fight if needed and to support your allies. But there are some other items I can recommend with Blissey. For example, Egg Speed. You get every 50 seconds increased movement speed and can get faster to your allies to heal them if you've chosen the right ability to be more supportive or of course to give them buffs if needed. And when we're talking about battle items, we also have time to talk about the question of the day. And today, my dear friends, I want to know from you which Pokemon is your favorite normal type one. It can also be a type combination, for example, normal flying or whatever else. I want to know when it comes about normal Pokemon, who do you choose? Who's your favorite? Write it down right now in the comments. Now let's have a look at the health items and when fighting with Blissey, I always choose the full support slash tank build. The first item is Body Barrier. Of course, you get a base amount of HP based on the level of the item, but also when you're using a Unite move, maybe you already know this item, you and the ally with the lowest amount of HP get a shield based on a certain percentage of your own health. And let me say that Blissey has a huge amount of HP, so this shield is very, very big and can help you combine with a Unite move to get some real good sustainability out of your group. The second item is Focus Band, not only because you're increasing your defense and special defense based on a certain value dependent on the item level, but also you get HP back with every tick for three ticks, so you can get more sustainability when in a clutch. And like I said, Blissey has a huge amount of HP, so you get back a huge amount as well. 
And the third item is Score Shield, not just for the plus HP you get, but of course for the shield when trying to score. You see, on level 20 you get a 10% shield based on the max HP again, and you can combine this shield with Body Barrier. So you're getting a huge amount of shield, like 50% with Blissey, you have a very huge base HP stat, so you can almost instantly dunk those 50 points in the last 2 minutes, and that's really effective when fighting with Blissey, when supporting your team. All the offensive items in this case I wouldn't recommend because you're not fighting very offensive with Blissey. Yes, you have the buff, we always have a boosted attack ready, or you can use Egg Bomb, but you shouldn't use Egg Bomb, but more on that in a minute. And you have some offensive possibilities, but Blissey is a full support slash even tank character, so I would recommend going with this build to get most out of the survivability you can get with it. You see our big pink friend has very good qualities when it comes to supporting your team when fighting a match on the stadium in Pokemon Unite. The next few scenes I'm going to show you how I was playing Blissey, what situations I had and how I made the best of it. Have fun and let's have a look what you can do. In this case you can see how effective this more sustainability from Blissey can be to win the early game fights. You see with Score Shield we have no issues dunking down those scores, Lucario trying to beat us up, but with the huge amount of HP and the soft boiled move already unlocked at level 4, we have enough possibilities to heal up back again, waiting for all Lucario in the bottom lane and then strike all those enemies to down together and you see the last one is also here and Lucario leaving us alone, but we have enough power, enough healing to wait for Froakie and together we are winning this fight at the bottom and with our 9 points we straight go back to the goal, dunking them down, getting experience and almost reaching level 6. And here you can see again why I like softball again with helping hand combined. On the one hand we have all the boosted attacks to even fight a bit against the enemies waiting for our allies and then with soft boiled when targeting our allies we can heal up both up again and then have enough time to again score getting those points and experience points. When you're playing as Blissey your biggest goal has to be supporting your team to let them win the fights against other enemies and to keep them of course alive. And you see with the healing of both Greninja and Crustle we have enough time and enough power to destroy not only Talonflame but also the Ivysaur, which is trying to snipe us down, doesn't have enough power, it's trying to get away, but we can score it, and the Garchomp is trying to do something. Of course, they're a little bit underleveled, but that were the good place and the support tactics we provided as Blissey, which helped us. This scene is definitely not in my favor, but with Helping Hand, you see the boost of the movement speed is very helpful, and I'm seeing that our teammates are up there. We have enough time and enough sustain to keep them at the point and again with our mates and you see they're trying to strike us down but with the heal of softball and even Talonflame unite moving our Pikachu it's sadly doing it right but again with Crustle we can defeat them and win the lane. And even I say I don't like the combination of Safeguard and Egg Bomb, I want to show you how much you can get with those both moves. Safeguard helps us especially against Wigglytuff, which is a hard counter to its sleep ability. Because when using Safeguard we can't be CC'd, so the sleep of Wigglytuff doesn't affect us. And you see how long we can stay at point with the healing and for the time we can wait and there comes Gengar into play, we are now two against the others, have enough time to win it and to gain all those secures. And again, just a little chase scene, you see we are trying to get away, safeguard to get not stoppable. And then we're healing back up with focus band, having this. I'm trying to fight with Egg Bomb, don't know why, because like I said, Egg Bomb isn't as effective. But I see, okay, there's our Lucario, I try to prepare my Unite move, I'm almost down, I know of Body Barrier I'll get shield back. There it is, I can proc it, I can use it, Lucario has half of his HP plus as shield, but then I'm stupid and run away and of that's why we losing this scene for us and getting down. Don't worry, I won't use any punts anymore. But you've seen Bliss is a very capable support character which can help out in clutch situations and has a huge amount of healing which can help you in fights like against Zapdos or Dredno and when a huge team fight occurs. I really like Blissey when you want to fight with a support character and really help out your team without being the 
most intense damage dealer, but of course when it comes to helping your team staying alive. I hope you had fun watching this video and you've learned something new about Blissey or you know how to play it now most effective in Pokemon Unite. When that's the case, please support this channel with a subscription and the video with a like. Not only YouTube knows then that this video is kinda good, but we're also getting together a big, huge Pokemon Unite community, which all learn how to get better, how to fight with all the Pokemon, and then climb those ranked ladders together. That's everything I have to say. Thanks for tuning in again. My name is Kay, and see you soon.